Good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here this evening, uh, this afternoon, because we're going to celebrate something really wonderful, tree planting. Now, how many of you filled out these leaves I see on this tree? Raise your hands and let me know. You guys did a great job. I was reading these leaves earlier to see if you really captured the importance of planting trees, and you sure did. You wrote about all the great things that trees do for us. Of course, they provide shade in the summer, but they also stop the wind from blowing in the winter. They block the, they block the wind. They provide homes for animals. They, and you also caught the part about the fact that they take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and uh, turn it into oxygen, which we all need to breathe. They also do an incredible job of filtering water. If there's pollution in the water, the trees and the roots and the soil work together to purify water. So trees are really an extraordinary thing, and I'm glad that you're learning about that in school, and more importantly, getting to see trees planted on your own school grounds. My name is Leo Roy, and I'm the commissioner of the Department of Conservation and Recreation. So we care about these things. We care about conserving our natural resources. We care about providing places for outdoor recreation, be that running, biking, hiking, swimming, camping, all the great things you can do in the out of doors. Because we realize the importance of spending time in the out of doors is good for our health, good for our souls, and good for our minds. It clears things up. So I really appreciate your being here today to celebrate with us. Four years ago, uh, Governor Baker decided to embark on a program called Greeny the Gateway Cities. And what he wanted to do was to plant trees for all the benefits that uh, I've just outlined for you. And so he challenges us at the Department of Conservation and Recreation to see how many trees we can plant. About a year ago, we were up in Lynn, Massachusetts, where we planted our 10,000th tree. And that was in about three years' time. And the governor, who's a big, tall guy, he's about six foot six, looked over at me, and I looked up at him like this. And uh, he said, Commissioner, we want you to plant another 10,000 trees as fast as you can. And so we've risen to the challenge, and with the great staff at the DCR, we're trying to do just that. And we've got a wonderful partner here in the city of Brockton. Uh, we've had a great program going here for the last couple of years. We've got another, more, another year left to go in the, in the program. And the difference that we're making in this community uh, won't be felt so much this year or next year. But as you guys get, get older and maybe have kids of your own in 15 years, in 20 years, these trees that are fairly small today will be very tall and have wonderful crowns, those big collection of leaves at the top. And that's where the trees provide the greatest benefit to all of us. There's an old saying that the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. And the reason for that is it provides the benefits, right? So the best time and they say the second best time to plant a tree is today. And that's what we're doing. We can't go back 20 years to plant the trees, but we can plant as many trees today as we can to make a difference uh, for the future. We started this program of greening the gateway cities in, uh, here in Brockton in 2017. So far, we've planted 1,236 trees and we're on track by the end of the year, the end of our season is, is middle of November, to plant 1,400 trees. Of those, 100 trees have been planted on school property, and 40 at your school right here have been planted, including these American elms uh, that, that are behind me. Uh, Brockton used to have wonderful trees all over the city, elm trees, but they got a disease some years ago, and many of them died. And that's why we're trying to return the American elm uh, to, to Brockton. The other significance of planting this tree today is the state tree of Massachusetts is the elm that I hear. I think I heard, I think I heard American elm in the background. I'll take it. I'll take it that. Exactly, exactly right. So we're actually planting uh, the state tree here. But this work does not happen in a vacuum. It takes a partnership. Just like the sports teams that you're on, it brings everybody working together. Everybody, of course, watched the Red Sox uh, win, right? Wasn't that incredible? The thing that struck me about those guys and their success 
was how much they appreciated each other. When they were coming out from an at-bat, you know, they'd get the high fives and they got the support of their teammates. What struck me about this Red Sox team was how they worked together and how they appreciated the contributions of each other. And I think we all can learn, adults and, and young people can learn a lesson from that because that's what brings about success. And that's what we've had here in the tree planting program in Brockton. We've had great respect and admiration for our partners and a great amount of teamwork. You are so fortunate here in Brockton to have Bill Carpenter as your mayor. He's doing an outstanding job, and I'd like to ask him to say a few words. Oh, where is he? <laughs> Hiding over here. Hiding over here. Mr. Mayor. Good to see you. Thank you. Well, thank you, Commissioner, and first of all, welcome uh, to the city of Brockton, and it's great to have uh, you and the entire DCR team here with us today. Um, first, you know, this has been a great program for the city of Brockton. As the Commissioner mentioned, we're in our second year. Uh, th this program that uh, we were selected to participate in is a three-year program. So, you know, our goal is to make sure that by this time next year, we've planted at least 2,000 new trees in the city of Brockton. And that is an enormous number of trees, particularly if you consider we're only planting in just the south central corridor of the city. Um, I want to be sure to thank our legislators up on Beacon Hill who are also instrumental in helping us to qualify and be selected for this program. Representative Cassidy, who's here in the entire legislative delegation. And I want to be sure I mention Matt Dyer also from DCR, who's here overseeing the project in the city on a daily basis and has been a great partner for us to work with as a city. I think the Commissioner mentioned a lot of the reasons why this is so important, but you know, I was just recently at a mayor's conference where they actually did a whole presentation to us on urban forests and talking about how critical it is for cities like Brockton to be regreening just what we're doing with this, to be rebuilding our tree canopy. Um, and, and this is a movement in cities across the country. And with this program, we are far ahead of what most cities are doing. But as we're trying to continue to develop Brockton into a livable city with livable neighborhoods where people want to live uh, and people want to come to, re replenishing our supply of trees and building that tree canopy is critical. So it saves us a lot of energy as we rebuild the tree canopy. It helps, it helps us keep inside buildings, help us stay cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. We became a green community a couple of years ago, and this is one small piece of our overall strategy of being a green community by reducing our energy consumption, reducing our carbon footprint, and these trees that we're planting will help us do that. Uh, and in addition, it makes our neighborhoods more desirable, more livable. As the Commissioner mentioned, it helps reduce pollution from cleaning the air to cleaning the water to even reducing noise pollution, because sometimes cities can be noisy places to live, and as we rebuild that tree canopy, they, they help to soften the noise also. So this is just a great program as we continue to move Brockton forward. I thought this was an outstanding opportunity for us to plant the ceremonial thousandth tree here at the school to really create a, a, a teaching moment here for the students to have a chance to understand just how important trees are to the quality of life here in the city of Brockton. So uh, to the governor and the administration, you, Mr. Commissioner, thank you so much uh, for selecting Brockton to participate in this great program. And for folks, families that live in this part of the city, picture the south side of the city towards the center. We still have a whole nother year of planting trees next year. So any homeowner, business owner, property owner can qualify to have the DCR come in and plant a free tree for you in your property. So please just reach out to us and let us know if you'd like to get on the list for the spring plantings. We'll be happy to get you lined up and, and make arrangements to be planting a new tree in your yard or next to your business next year. So thank you so much and thanks to everyone that's here. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As I said, that we in the Baker Polito administration really have a terrific relationship with Mayor Carpenter and with the city, and it's working on projects like this and investing in this region of the, of the Commonwealth. That partnership with the city extends to uh, your city councilors, and I'm uh, pleased to recognize uh, Councilor Susan DeCastro, who's here, and also in the back, uh, Councilor John Lally. 
And I may have missed a councillor. City Council, City Council Frank, President Dennis Cianeri. Just Dennis Cianeri. Nice to see you, councillor. Thank you for being with us. As I mentioned before, it really takes a team. So it's your city councilors, it's your city administration, but it's also the folks who represent you in, in Be on Beacon Hill. Uh, they do a tremendous job. Uh, Senator uh, Mike Brady could not be here today, uh, but he's represented by Mark Lind, who's his, uh, Ed, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Ed, Ed uh, Miller with uh, Senator Brady's office. Thank you so much, Ed, for, for being here. Uh, and I also want to recognize and have come up to speak uh, your state representative uh, who does an outstanding job for you on Beacon Hill, Gerald Cassidy. Representative? Thank you. I guess the leaves are falling off the tree. This is uh, very nice, very nice. I like, uh, like what you guys did as far as putting it up on the, uh, the tree. I'll put this back. Uh, what a tremendous day, I tell you. Tree, tree, mendus day. <laughs> do you write your own material? I do, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stand up. But, uh, no, I just want to um, recognize uh, Dennis Ayanieri, who's been laid up for a little while. He just, uh, he's the city councilor. He's my city councilor and uh, does a wonderful job, Jack Lally and Sue and the, the mayor. Uh, we on uh, Beacon Hill, it uh, w was very nice to have uh, this project done. I remember when we uh, first planted the first tree at uh, Finnegan Park, and I just drove by there now, and it, it's flourishing, and uh, it uh, looks looks great, and some of the trees, um, some of the leaves are falling off it. Uh, but uh, I just want to thank you, Commissioner Roy, uh, for doing a great job. And I would see Matt Dyer just about every every day down at Elvira's. You know, uh, he set up his office down there. I'd have meetings down there, but uh, he'd be planning his day, and you'd see throughout the whole city, 1,400, 1,400 trees have been uh, put up uh, since then, and I guess 40, 40 right here. These are, uh, it's just a great, great job uh, uh, doing this. And I was lucky enough to get $75,000 in the budget to uh, have this uh, park redone. So hopefully we'll, uh, uh, we, we thank the uh, Baker Polito administration for, for the uh, continued effort here in the city of Brockton. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. I'll put, I'll put this back And you put that put back, back Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Uh, we also appreciate very much the partnership with the school system here in the city. As has been mentioned, 40 trees in this location, but 100 trees uh, at school properties uh, across the city of Brockton. I'd now like to introduce your Deputy Superintendent of Schools, Mike Thomas, to say a few words. Mike. Thank you, Commissioner. Uh, thanks for having me here today. Uh, Superintendent Smith had a previous engagement and couldn't make it, so she sends her uh, regards. I want to thank the students and staff of South for being here and being part of this. I want to thank Mayor Carpenter, Commissioner Roy, elected officials for making this happen. I also want to thank Matt Dyer, who we've been working with now for three years. I met Matt probably about four years ago at Ab an Arbor Day celebration at the Pluff, and he's been great to work with. I want to thank Ken Thompson from the Facilities Department, who works hard with, uh, with Matt to make sure that um, you know the trees went in fine and it was a good communication between the schools and with the DCR. I also want to thank uh, present Councilor Ionieri, who spends a lot of time in uh, around South Middle School and always reminds me when the, the bushes need to be trimmed and leaves need to be picked up, so we appreciate that. So we thank you, 100 trees being planted on school grounds to help keep our schools beautified, um, clean, healthy, so we really appreciate it. Again, I want to thank uh, Principal Lynch and her staff and the students at South for being part of this. It's a, it's a great teachable moment, so we really appreciate it. So, uh, Commissioner Roy, um, I won't be too long. I'll actually do what my father used to say when I was a pain, make like a tree and leave. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. You're certainly getting an education in bad jokes this, uh, to today. These are ones not to not to repeat when you go home tonight because they're uh, they're they're. Uh, um, as I mentioned before, it really takes teamwork, and uh, I am so proud of the, the the team at DCR. But I also want to share something with the young people here today uh, that today this year, uh, 2018, is DCR's birthday. We're 125 years old as an agency. We were started in 1893, and we were started by two people who cared about what? Trees. There were some beautiful oak trees on the Belmont uh, Waltham line near Boston, and these trees were in, in danger of being taken away. 
And these two people felt that they wanted to protect these trees. So they convinced the Massachusetts legislature on the Senate and the House side to create the Metropolitan Parks Commission. And that was the first regional parks group in the entire country and, in fact, the entire world. And after they created this Metropolitan Parks Commission in 1893, they then went on to save other places uh, forever. These incredible, uh, beautiful places, these forests like the Middlesex Fells, the Blue Hills Reservation, and the parks that we have all across the Commonwealth. I'm sharing this with you because it shows the power that people have to make a difference. These two individuals created this agency, which is now here 125 years later, making a difference in the lives of our citizens and improving the quality of life through having parks and playgrounds and, and, planting, and planting trees. So there is the potential for individuals to make a difference. And the DCR staff are a group of individuals that make a huge difference. Matt Dyer has been recognized several times, but also uh, Matt Cahill, Judy, Judy Coop, uh, Julie Coop, the great team that's here. One of the things about this project is, yes, there's the benefits of planting trees. There's the economic development that comes here. But it's also, this is creating jobs for the folks that you see in the, in the yellow vests. Uh, some, some, it's their first job out of college. And they're, they're learning uh, skills uh, and that will serve them well. Getting that first job out of college is often a challenge to do. But by doing this work and by giving back to the community, by planting these trees, they're making a difference in this community and they're making a difference all across Massachusetts. So I thank the, the DCR staff who care about these places as much as all of you do, and I'd like to give them a round of applause if we could. So thank you guys for the great, great work you do. So there are lots of parks near, near, nearby. Uh, for, for you to enjoy. One of our biggest is Miles Standish State Forest with uh, some ponds down there, opportunities for fishing. There are a lot of campsites down there at, at Miles Standish and at other DCR parks around the Commonwealth. So I really hope that you'll drag your parents out and take them out fishing or camping or just walking in the woods to appreciate the benefit of nature that brings to, uh, that, that, that it brings to all of us. So thank you so much for coming today. And at this point, I'd like to invite uh, the representative of the senator, representative, the mayor, superintendent, and also the councilors to come and uh, help us with the ceremonial tree planting. Trees! <laughs> Trees! Trees! OK, now I need the kids to count really loudly, one, two, three, and then we'll throw this, the dirt. Are you ready? <laughs> one, two, three! Yay! Thank you, guys. <laughs>